Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Hello and welcome to Sloppy Joes. This is the Friday show. The ultimate Friday experience. Joe McGraw, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Love a Friday. Yeah, me too. Oh, the excitement as a kid when it was a Friday. Yeah. Because you knew, like, one last day in school, yeah. so you still see your mates, but then, tonight, mate, what a time to party. And how good was it just going straight out with your mates after school on a Friday? Not even going home first. Oh, well, you did. Occasionally. That was a rarity, but sometimes. Did you used to drink in, like, parks and that? Sometimes we're drinking parks. A lot of just drinking at people's houses. There was always, a, there's always one, you know, there's a set of parents somewhere that don't mind you drinking, isn't there? Who, whose was that? Nah, don't worry about that, but yeah. Was it yours? No. Never oh, mind, absolutely. Were they all right with it? Um, they didn't mind it once I got to about 17, yeah, 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of sixth form era. But you want to have a drink in year 11, don't you? You want to bring in your 16th you birthday you with a few beers. Was your mum and dad strict on it, Ethan? Ethan James, by the way. Ethan James. Uh, hello. Um, that was a really sarcastic, horrible clap. Um, was my mother strict on drinking? Was that the question? Yeah. What? Did, what where were you we when you asked the question? she was lenient on the drugs. Um, no, she, she was never... Um, Sorry, what was that about sorry, drugs? Carry on, sorry, carry on. Um, no, I'd, I'd be allowed to go to like um, house parties with my friends. I'd, mm. I'd drink um, uh, Bulmers. Do you remember that? Do I you remember Bulmers? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. <laughs> still good. Do you remember Stella? Do you remember that? Do you remember whiskey? I would drink. Do you remember, Do you remember whiskey? Remember when they used to have whiskey. I don't think we have whiskey anymore. Oh wow! Of course, we remember Bulmers. It still fucking exists. Well, I haven't had cider maybe. Six years. I used or to something. watch something. I don't know if you remember this. The television. Oh, do you remember yeah, the television? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard of the news? Hmm. Do you oh, remember the news? Hour at six o'clock. Hasn't been on for a long time. <coughs> now. Were you ever worried about your dad finding out? Because obviously he's a copper. Oh no, he wouldn't. He he wouldn't mind anything like that. I'd always look after myself. I remember my first real piss up when I was when I was fifteen in Greece. Met the boys out in there. Greece. What? <coughs> why were you getting greased up? Oh no, sorry, Drew. Um, I went to the country, Greece. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and uh, met a few fellow males around there. Hit hit, hit the l- bars on the beach. Um, <laughs> I had a I had a few. You're such a nubbin, aren't you? Hello, fellow males. <laughs> Would you like to go for a little drinky poo? You're 15, five foot one, and looking no, like fucking. No. James Ward Prowse Did you get walking pissed? down the beach in cars. You must have got pissed quick at that age as well. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I had two bottles of uh, Mythos or Mythos and that sent me on my way and I had a cracking time. I was with my friend, there was one of the lads called Callum and um, I was trying to act all cool and we ordered Sambuca to the, to the, to the, to the beach bar, you Ooh. see? And he was saying to us, um, I said to him, watch this, you should ask for it flamed. And the only time I remember having a flamed Sambuca before was when I went to a Chinese restaurant with my granddad and they poured it on the, on the banana fritters. And uh, I hold said, on, hold on, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> your, you and your granddad went to a Chinese restaurant, just you and him. He orders the banana fritters. <laughs> they bring over Zambuca and set it on fire. I think it was uh, banana fritters, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're worried about the banana fritter bit. <laughs> it wasn't I Zambuca, think the fire bit surely. Is wild. So anyway, so no, that, no, 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 hold on, hold on. So anyway, me, what Chinese restaurant sets desserts on fire? Neptunes. Okay, well, it's told me. Le- Neptune's in Newcastle. So, anyway, I, I knew that you can set some book or a light. And I said to Callum, acting all cool, I said, uh, let's let's get flame and some bookers. So you're 15 years old, oh, yeah. acting like fucking Frank Sinatra, That's knowing crazy. every drink on the bar. Yeah. So, so we we'll get the flame and some bookers order, Joe, and uh, they come to the bar and they're just there burning away. And Callum says to us, well, won't that burn me mouth? And I went, uh, oh, no, you just do it quickly. And he went, are you sure, mate? And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, so I went, you go first. Just do it quickly, mate. I got a bit fearful at this point, and I thought he was right, so I just let him do it. He puts it to his lips, puts it to his lips, all right? Ah! Drops it on the bar. The whole bar sets alight. It's all on fire. And then they just, they just lose the plot, the bar staff. They're going mental. They're like, get the fire extinguishers out. Psh, psh, psh. You're the fire extinguishers out. Yeah, yeah. The whole bar was on fire. The whole bar. Psh. Honestly. You're a fucking arsonist at the age of 15 in Greece. Yeah. That's you incredible. meant to blow it out first. You know that now, don't you? 
Ah, oh, well, just psh, get it out, get it out. It was huge. You couldn't blow that out. The bar was on fire. No, I don't mean the bar. No, hold on. You need to blow you're the shot. Fucking, you're not the fucking werewolf out of the oh. three pigs. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Sorry, know just that. a second. <laughs> Sorry, the what and the three pigs? Isn't he a wolf? Yeah, not a fucking werewolf. <laughs> hold on. What's the difference between a werewolf and a wolf? Are you, are you <laughs> mentally spanked? What's, what is where, what's a werewolf? Are you, are, are just, <laughs> what's a werewolf? What do you think a werewolf is? Just a wolf, <laughs> but a bigger name. What's a werewolf? <laughs> Hold on. What's the difference between a wolf and a werewolf? <laughs> what's happening here? Are you joking? No, what's the difference? A werewolf is a man that turns into a wolf <laughs> at a full moon. So why is it called? What's the what's the wear got to do with it? I don't know, but that's not for me. No, I didn't come up with it. No, you're lying. A werewolf is a mythical creature that doesn't exist. It's a bloke with some ripped jean shorts on, howling at the moon and uh, scaring his neighbours. Uh, have you ever seen Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Wear Rabbit? Yeah. Well, uh, it's the same, but with a rabbit. So he's a man and turns into a rabbit. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, uh, you've not seen the film then. <laughs> No, oh, did you watch no, it? Remember, remember, and you remember, 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 remember. remember. Yeah, but fundamental it's the thing, premise. It's the, thing, the, the Three Little Pigs story, depends what version you read. No, it doesn't. It does. There is no version of Three Little Pigs where it's a werewolf trying to blow it the house is, down. It is. The Finland version. The what? The Finnish version. <laughs> right. Is that right? It's got a werewolf in it. So, but you didn't know what a it's werewolf still, was five huffs, minutes ago. And he po- no, because I always read it and I just sort of play it along with my... He huffs and he puffs. My joke still stands. Do you know what a werewolf is now, though? Yeah. Not too far apart, are you? Well, no, but one doesn't exist, and one obviously does. Anyway, Ethan. What were you talking about? Um, oh, yeah, th- I- I've ended that story there, but, yeah, bar went with fire. The next day, me and Callum had a full lobster together. So what? Made amends. You and Callum are living the life of Riley! You're like Jack Nicholson, fucking having flaming shots and eating lobster with your shirt out on the beach in Greece. What do you mean you ate a full life. lobster together? Where well, were your parents? Oh, uh, well, well, just in the hotel, you could get a, you pick up a lobster, so we had a full lobster together. Did you have, did you, did you and you Callum have? fall in love? No, was this like I, summer loving? I haven't seen him since. That yeah, was well, 2015. Yeah, 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 neither. That's, you know, I've seen Greece. But they, just, they got lucky. Well, two other uh, fellow friends from Greece. Tom still watches this podcast. That's lovely, isn't it? Did you meet him in Greece? Oh, I met him in Greece as well. I met them all in Greece. Met my friend Duncan in Greece, who I knew from yeah. From met Blue. everyone in Greece. Huh? Really? From Blue? Don't oh, no, no, sorry. Just, a, just a, no. I know they say Jordy's like deep frying stuff, but to meet your friends in Greece... It's a very, Aww. very interesting concept. Good couple of zingers from you. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Um, um, some sort my of werewolf form. one still stands up. Yeah, we get it. The funny bit was that you didn't know what a werewolf was. Yeah, but what? I'm a bit annoyed that uh, that overshadowed me saying that you thought Ethan thought you had that big of a blow. Yeah. That he could blow out a bar fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a, the, the, the fire brigade turn up. Right, <laughs> blow it out, boys. <sighs> Because <laughs> they've been trained extra hard. They don't have water, they just blow it out. Uh, right, news stories, headlines. Yeah. Uh, I've got one. It was Valentine's Day week, so yeah. we're calling it a week. So here's the headline for you. You can now flush your ex down the toilet this Valentine's your Day. Your eggs. Ex. Question. Where do you think this article's going? They must be cremated. <laughs> You're going to burn your ex. Well, no. Crema- cremation is a strange concept, isn't it? Especially if your ex imagine, is still alive. It sounds like it's something thought out by someone that hated the person that had died. Because imagine someone died. It's never happened before. We just bury them or we put them in some sort of like tissue and throw them in the river yeah. or whatever. Like, we beat them on the t- and then someone went, just fucking burn them. Set them on fire. What? That is the most it awful is, thing is ever. Really mad, isn't it? You As if get- you do that to someone, you're like, I loved him so much. Burn him! Kill him! Do you want to get buried him? or cremated? Cremated. It's weird though, isn't it? I want something weird. You, have you seen they can turn you into a tree? What? Or they can turn you into a... Um, they do this thing where they make... Um, like, you know, the Great Barrier Reef's all breaking and turning into sort of con- a car park or whatever. What they do is they, they can make these, like, concrete structures that fish live in and eventually stuff will grow on an algae and all that and it'll be all colourful again. So they can turn you into a barrier reef. Full of shit. That's true. Nope. 
they continue. You don't know because you're going to be dead. You want you, to be, you sign up to this thing and go. Presumably, oh, you know. want to be sort of turned into some sort of seasoning mix. How did you know that's what I was going to say? <laughs> I was generally going to say, do you know those B and M salt and pepper seasonings? Yeah, just mix me in with like a tub of them. Honestly, you'd be I'd so be good mate. as an all-purpose seasoning. I think I'd cook well. I think you would. What about if you had to get it scattered somewhere? Where would be like a? Do you think it was weird that people like to do it at Old Trafford? Mm. Do you think those footballers find it a bit? I don't know how well I'd cope knowing that I'm just running on someone's granddad. Mm. If I had to be scattered anywhere, I want to. I want to. I want it to ruin the thing that it's scattering. I don't, not in like a forest or at the beach because it just blends. I want it. I want to fuck something. Up. I want it. To, I want to be scattered at like a children's nativity or something. I want everything to go. <sighs> do you know what I mean? Okay. Scatter me on a like ice skating rink or something. Something terrible. Something gross that really upsets a lot of people. That's what I want. Children's party, ideally. Or a wedding. Scam oh, instead of wedding. like throwing like confetti, they just da, throw you da, over da, the bride. Da, 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 dentures coming out. Da, da, oh. da, da. Ethan, have you ever scattered uh, anyone anywhere? Oh, my God. Um, no, I've not scattered anyone's ashes. Um, still need to do my granddad's. He wanted to go somewhere down south, but it's been six years now. So <laughs> Why have you not done six it? Six years? You can't blame the pandemic either. Cause that's only been two years ago. Well, it's just it's just quite far away. I can't remember where, where it was. Fucking hell, uh, Ethan! Can I remind you of something? You go down south to visit your girlfriend twice a month. I think it, it's something to do with the RAF. I, I don't know a lot about it. I'm sorry. Anyway, here's my story. You can now flush your ex down the loo, not cremation. This company in America will allow you to send any of your ex's items that you still have and they'll recycle them into toilet paper. Mm. Who gives a crap are a toilet paper company who are s letting you send in uh, clothes, uh, love letters, uh, I don't know, fucking, it's gotta be sort of that kind of material, kind of like a TV. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, the, do the dog. With the ex's dog, fucking stick him in a yeah, toilet. So, yeah, and then they're gonna turn them items into loo roll, so then you can wipe your ass wow. with your ex. That might be one of the most pathetic things a human being can do, that. Talk about get over it. Imagine that. Imagine you broke up with someone and you found out that eight months later, because it's going to take ages to make that. Yeah. They've made toilet roll out of your jeans. You think you are the saddest twat of all time. That is so sad if you do that. In it. Just innit? get over it. What would you use the toilet paper for? Because you can use it for anything, couldn't you? Yeah, I know what I'd use it for. Side of the bed. <laughs> oh, 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 one last ride. <laughs> if you want your story, please. Oh, that's one. Hold on, one <laughs> last ride. He said, "How much are you fucking jizzing to take up a whole toilet paper?" I leave it there for a couple of weeks. One last ride. You'll <laughs> hold back and then just fucking explode. Fucking hell. One last ride. Jesus, Ethan. What are you? What's your story of the week, please? Mate? <laughs> One oh. last ride. It's not a fucking Fast and Furious film. Could be. Well, this story that I found has uh, inspired another story, reminded me of another story in my life of a, of a close friend. And this is, uh, the, the title is, uh, Is Advanced AI Actually Smart? What's the answer? Probably yes. No, it's using the same system as a pigeon. Now, isn't that fascinating? So, oh, like AI and stuff, you think, oh, bloody hell, it's really clever. It's a, yeah. It's, it's the future. It's a pigeon. It's just as good what as a pigeon. What do you mean? You've got to give us so much more information. You've well, given us nothing so far. You've just said, is AI smart? No, it's a pigeon. So it it's says, yeah. who's not sounding on. smart here? You. Yeah, so, I take a pigeon over you at this point. So, uh, Professor Ed Wasserman. Uh, oh. says here, he says, yeah, all the time about the wonders of AI and all the amazing things it can do. It can beat the pants off people playing chess or at a video game for that matter. How does it do it? Is it smart? Then he says, no, nah, it's not smart. It's using the same system equivalent to that of a pigeon is using, right? So it's not that smart, which... But so, it is smart. But also, can you... You've just repeated the same thing. Is, is there any more information when as to what this means? When is a pigeon ever beating someone at chess? It's <laughs> using the same biological you, a pigeon, algorithm. Oh, you're thick. A pigeon cannot beat Magnus Carlsen at chess. Yeah. But what, was, what was his again? name? The, the bloke who lost to Deep Blue. What's it? Whatever it's called. Go on. Kasparov. So, so, so uh, 
What do you mean? Magnum system. Yuri, system. Ka Yuri Kasparov lost a deep blue, the chess yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pigeon could not have done that. You could put a, 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 a anal beads up a pigeon, though. That's how they cheat in chess, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I anal think beads up the arse. it's trying to say it's the Clark. same system. Right, again, you're just repeating the same sentence that you've but said you don't, twice it's now. It's not making sense, Ethan. Um, I, I, I can understand your queries. Let me yeah. just relate this to the... Let me um, just try reading this before we go live next time. So it's, again... Um, <laughs> If you say the same oh, thing, if you say so the same thing as a pigeon, pigeon I'm, I'm going to so, so Tess saw each pigeon showing a stimulus, uh, showing a different pattern, which the pigeons had to ca categorise by pecking one of the two buttons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, the pigeons memorised enough of them to score almost 70%. percent Which is That's shit! 70%? What's that got to do with AI? You just get your first one, it. So good, actually. I was going to relate this story, sorry, so I saw this and it made me think, oh, I, I've got something to go with this. So, so my friend Tom... Got something's going to come out of this fucking story. Sorry, yeah, oh, don't, yeah don't worry, there's, there's more of this. There's a reason why I, I, I picked this specific story. So my friend um, Tom um, w was at um, Millwall Away with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, the year is um, 2014. The, and they had pigeons back there. The year is 2014. And he was convinced that the police were using remote control pigeons with cameras in their eyes. So they'd just sort of hover in the place and spin around and look at people. But uh, he, said, uh, he says that everyone he's told the story to doesn't believe him. But on Twitter, right, there's another guy who was saying, I wonder what those pigeons were at Melbourne away. And I was saying it was because they were watching them all the game because of the police. They were trying to like, ma like watch the fans and that. Look, what's I'm, wrong with? There's, have there's you got another a picture, picture, have you got a picture here. Of one? Is um, <sighs> you see, one of the pigeons at the wall. This is honestly <laughs> ridiculous. Ethan, you need show us that picture stuff. again. You need, that's just show us that picture. Just stop. Show us that picture again. Yeah, yeah, that clears it up, doesn't it? This yeah, no, that, that fucking a, a pigeon, speck pigeon. that could be anything from a plum to a fucking car. Is definitely a remote control spy pigeon. Yeah, good. I'm, it's, I'm glad we got that picture because that clears it right CC, up. Like normal CCTV. Well, there's, there's loads of evidence. There's another man here, Declan, says Millwall had for some reason had tied a fake pigeon to dangle off the roof. There's, there's. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that in. But, uh, but, but the point is, Millwall in 2014, or I don't know if they've continued at this day. There's evidence everywhere. Instead of the cop, it's called the coop. <laughs> hey. Someone had to get a fucking good. joke out of that. So, right, why? So, oh, yeah, my turn. Listen, sorry, uh, let's conclude with some positive there. Isn't that bloody mental? It is mental, but it's also no, not it's true, not, is it? I'm not, I'm Did you not, see that picture? <laughs> I saw it. We saw it. Sorry, it was a Ethan. dot. It was a dot. It doesn't make any sense. It was to a me. pigeon. Okay, even if it was a pigeon, what proof do we have that it was remote controlled and uh, f for surveillance purposes? But they're just, just, they're just going around in circles, true, and hanging off the roof. Like, Oops, pigeons don't. don't do that. That's a point there. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Here's one. Man claiming he's the world's oldest man turns 122. Right. I need to show you a picture of this man. And we'll get to it in a minute. I'll send it to Ethan. I'm going to show you this picture. Yeah. Mm. If this man, he's so he's called uh, Andrelino Vieira da Silva. Yeah. Said to be still going strong. He went <laughs> viral on his 121st birthday. He's 122 now. Look at this man. For me. Is no older than seventy. Right. Okay. If this man is under twenty-two, no one has ever aged this one in, in in their life. Really, this man is a liar. Show this picture, Ethan. Wow. He is one hundred and twenty-two. There is no way he's one hundred and twenty-two. There's no way, is there? So how do they? How does he? Like, how do they make sure he is one hundred and twenty-two? Well, so that he's got a um, a, a, what's it called? An ID card that says he was born. Um, in 1915, I think it is. Oh, no, it can't be 1915. 1901. 1901. 1901. Fucking hell. But you look at him, that's a 70 year old bloke. Isn't yeah, it? that is like, or oh, early 80s. Maybe no 80s. Way he's 122. Imagine, imagine, imagine you met an 80 year old. Think how much someone ages between the ages of 65 and 85. Yeah. Now put another 40 years on Fucking that. Fucking hell. Do you want to live to that age? 122, yeah. I'd, I'd live forever if I could. No. Have you ever heard the, the theory that you have two deaths? Have we spoke about this before? Uh, I don't think we have, no. You, got, you have two deaths. The first death, it's quite a sad concept, this. The first death is when your body dies, like what we would call death now. Yeah. So what, 20, 25 or whatever. 
Your second death is the last time anyone says your name or thinks about you. So, oh, so right. you, let's say you die. For a while, people talk about you, the like flowers that you think, and then eventually they'll have kids and they'll say, oh, do my granddad, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then eventually, there will be a time where you are never mentioned, you are never thought about, you truly cease to exist as far as any living person can, can recollect. So like, Sad idea, isn't Shakespeare's it? been alone for ages. Shakespeare's still alive. Shakespeare think, will probably stay alive for as long as humans do, I would have thought. Do you think he's a bit dumb? Like, if he's in the afterlife, I don't think he's a bit like, oh, let me go. Get over it. I regret Macbeth. Yeah, the Scottish play. I and wonder Macbeth if he's sick of it. That. I wonder if he's sick of it. What about you, Ethan? How long do you think... He doesn't live till 65, does he? He's not going to live till 65, but when do you think your second death will be? Um... Well, I'm on Probably here. Probably two, two or three weeks after you die. Oh, no, 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 I hope not. Well, I'm on here so people can just watch. <laughs> yeah, what about if someone stumbles upon, like, yeah? the Sloppy Joes in Possible. the future? Like an archive. This might be played out in, like, a museum. 150 years' time. This, this, is, what the, this is what the past was like. Yeah. Talking about cremation and that. Sad that, though, isn't it? One day it will happen where you are never mentioned or thought about again. I'm not asked. <laughs> I'm not asked. <laughs> I don't think you fear death, do you? Um, <clears throat> nah, I fear just the unknown afterwards, but if I was dying, I'd be like, right, bring it on. Would you? Yeah, I'd probably just, you know, eat what I want. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Let me stop you there. Sorry, what? No, I need to, I need to ask you. I need to ask you a couple of questions. It? What aren't you eating now that you would eat if you had t two years to the live? The stuff like if I was dying, right? Just, what, dream just day, lard here's the dream into day. A drip. <laughs> oh, I was going to say something like that. My, if I was dying, my butter to bread ratio would be incredible. <laughs> You'd be like two thirds butter, one third bread. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just, dying. So you're just getting one slice of bread on the whole block of butter, wrapping it round, yeah. and then just eating that. Well, yeah, and I'd make prawns gambon. <laughs> Do you know the prawns with olive oil? Isn't in? prawns gambon prawns prawns? <laughs> Gambon is, is What's uh, the prawns Spanish where it's like a, a Spanish plate? Gambas pil pil. Oh, gambas oh, pil pil. Right, gambas which is pil -pil. essentially oil yeah. heated up with chili flakes oh. and I'd have a straw. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like garlic in there, some paprika. Oh God, it's just unbelievable that. Uh, just quickly, do you know Snow White and the Seven? Say that word for me, please. Why? Are you drinking with hands or something? No, no. It's, not, it's a, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Say that again. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Why do you say dwarfs? <laughs> like dwarfs. This isn't, oh, Joe says something wrong again. Dwarf. Like potatoes. <laughs> which I said the, the other day. That's so potatoes. Cool. Wow. Right, well, this has been a wonderful... Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Friday ride. So what have we learned today, then? So we've learned that, basically, that 120-year-old is lying and he's 68. Yeah, but you see the dog you got to 31 the other day. Yeah. I saw that. He's still saw alive, that. isn't he? Yeah. It's got a good going, isn't he? He's got, he, did you see it, though? It's lived out on a. It's been lived outdoors its whole life. What? It's lived out on a farm, hasn't it? It lives. It's never been indoors. It's basically a oh, fucking horse. It's, what do you mean it's never been indoors? Well, it's never lived indoors. It's an outdoor piece. You've no piece. idea if it's ever. It's been like indoors. a wasp. In its thirty-one years, what a statement! In its thirty-one years, that dog has never popped inside. <laughs> that is such a wild it's statement. The picture of the article has ever been inside in the kitchen. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Pop that picture The in. dog's fuming. You broke me fucking. See, so that dog's lying as well. So that man isn't 122, he's lying. That dog's lying about being outdoors the whole time. We've learned that pigeons either a are or aren't at Millwall yeah. and are the same as an AI. And what did you teach us again? I taught us about flushing your ex down the loo. Yeah. Do you want the only question, do you want to answer about being cremated? Where would you want to be cremated and, like, thrown about, Ethan? Um, well... The idea of the sea kind of freaks me out. So don't... It, space, yeah, you don't have to pick it. Space, again, like, I've got this dream that I've, I've just never, like, stopped floating away. It's one of my worst fears. So I could never go to space, I don't okay. think. Okay, should we do the whole thing of where you wouldn't want to be, and then the only remaining option is where you do want to be, or do you just want to cut the shit and go to where you would want to be scattered? Oh, um... Oh, maybe... Imagine it. He's closing his eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah I was, um... The fish cake aisle at Tesco Express. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't do that. Just one eye closed, weird. Sorry, I'm, I'm just thinking, maybe... Um, what about on your sleeping mother? Pardon? <laughs> she, could put, she could put you on top of a porridge. Maybe I'd go... In the pepper pot? In, in the cottage in Northumberland, we've got 
the, the Samami's tree where he's buried. Mm. Maybe I could. The have dead been cat. Next to him. So it's you and a dead cat at a cottage in Northumberland. Now I'm worried, like, if I do, like, die in the next week or so and people go oh I didn't know oh Ethan done that funny podcast where he said that you'd like that because they do that with like comedians don't they like when they die they keep playing the same joke that they said whatever over and over again I don't want to be at the point where oh let's let's actually bury him next to the dead cat because he said that on the podcast like no that's where you can't you say something you actually want to do you know what I mean um oh uh, this is actually me saying what's going to happen to me now which is quite a big moment for me um maybe um how about on the on the beach in um, north uh, of Newcastle, beach of Newcastle. Oh, so weird. The, the yeah. first thing he said was not at the, the seaside. He'll eventually be in the sea, but he's not asked. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's true. No, I take that. Oh, no, 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 you're done now. All right, right, sorry. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you've watched this and you even dies suddenly, please. <laughs> the one thing he it. didn't want oh, is I the thing panicked. that he picked. I just panicked. <laughs> Say something else then. Um, in a rocket ship. He oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, everyone, we've got to go. It's been wonderful. To, oh, God. Uh, hit subscribe. Sorry. Hit subscribe, yeah. So aggressive. Yeah. Um, show some love, and I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. <sighs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. I'm, I'm going to pick uh, Newcastle United. Uh, some, like, in the picture, someone. See you later, everyone. That'll do. Bye. <laughs>